Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another fortress. It's been a long time since we've visited the old good old door fortress, and we're going to be playing with Dion's Genesis Reborn mod. This should be version 5.11 or 5.11. However, you want to look at it. Thank you very much, Dion, for making such a fantastic mod series, I should say, because there's definitely more than one Genesis mod now. In fact, I think, isn't this like the third one? That's neither here nor there. Also, thank you to Ciaru for helping me out with uh, designing new worlds, because I suck at it. Um, which is what we're going to start off doing right now. We're going to start off uh, generating a new region. Yes, there we go. Seven rejected off the bat. Um, everything should be uh, set up and good to go for how exactly I want it. What I want to aim for is around 600 years. I believe Dion said around 600 years is the sweet spot for when it comes to... Uh, well, that was rejected too. This is the sweet spot for uh, for getting a lot of stuff to fight while at uh, at their maximum strength, which I assume would be uh, mostly mega beasts and titans and the like. I wonder how many rejects we're going to have to go through. Rejects! So, um, what I'll probably do instead of recording all of the generation, because this will take uh, quite a bit of time, I'll probably cut this up once the uh, we actually find a world that we're going to be using. Oh, that one fell too. It looks like there's just a few too many uh, civilizations, actually. A few too many civs for this. Might have to change that. I did notice... Uh, Oh, no, that one took. All right. We put all of them in there. 52 rejects. And now we start cranking through the years. Okay, so we didn't have to change anything. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Then this place is called the Windy Planet. Oh, it sounds simply glorious. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let the world gen run and do its thing. And we'll come back in around uh, 600 years. And we'll have a look around our new playground. Okay, the world had finished, and I had accidentally uh, went ahead and saved it, so I didn't get to take a look at it afterwards. We can always do that um, as we start a fortress. So we'll go ahead and jump right in and get that started. Uh, I also forgot to point out, I will be putting the uh, link to this um, Genesis mod in the description below, so if you're interested, check it out. It's a fantastic mod. You might want to try it out. Now, I'm mostly going to be playing this assuming that uh, a lot of you already know what the fuck Dwarf Fortress is. <laughs> That's kind of how I started my channel, was playing, you know, Dwarf Fortress. So, now we have our new world to start in. Uh, we just have to find a place to start. It looks like uh, the top corners are restricted for ocean, or partial oceans, that is. Let's see... Imagine there probably won't be too many volcanoes. Unlike uh, all my other forts that I had started on my channel before, this one I am not giving myself any rules. There's gonna not going to be any real regulations. I'm just pretty much going to wing it. I'm going to um, just feel, do what feels right. I'm just going to do what comes naturally. This is... city of some sort oh wow oh wow that's right Dion added merfolk serpent folk I think that's it since I've last played he's been updating the shit out of this mod and there is a volcano right over here and a big ass mountain well imagine that Yeah, there aren't many volcanoes, but like I said, I'm not too concerned with them. I will take a peek here and there at them, but uh, it isn't necessary or even really required or wanted or desired. There's one more right here, buried deep in the mountains, of course. Let's see. What are these? Tropical forests. Yeah, I'm still 
I'm still master de <laughs> I'm still masticating over what the where the hell I actually want to um start off. I I'm not too crazy about uh, haunted or or nightmarish. Sinister wouldn't be that big of a problem, though I wouldn't have a problem with uh, what the hell Untamed Wilds. I wouldn't mind Untamed Wilds. This might be a little bit sexy as well. Like how there's this island right out the middle of this fucking this. It's called an ocean. I guess it could be an ocean, but it looks more like a giant fucking lake or a sea of some sort. Let's see. I kind of like the sexiness of uh, Untamed Wilds, to be entirely honest. Give us a little bit of fun. By a little bit, I mean quite a bit. There's definitely aquifers. And these, the yeah, pots. Wilderness actually isn't a bad idea either. I'm just kind of scoping around, seeing what what feels good, what looks good. What else we can find? That's a little bit of everything in it. I'm actually kind of liking the savannah. What is that? Badland. I've had fortresses in Badlands before. They're not that bad. Don't let them fool you, though. Joyous Wilds. There's a little nook and cranny up here that's pretty goddamn terrifying. Like them little nooks and crannies. The Faithful Hills. I kind of like uh, this tempered grassland, to be honest. There's some soil, uh, shallow metals, uh, deep metals, uh, and flex stone. I don't care too much for clay. Never really got in the whole clay business. The stream is called Kind Flooded. Not that a stream is necess necessarily required. I prefer not to uh, really fuck with one. I, I don't know what it is about the new versions of uh, Door Fortress, but um, I think that there's a little bit of a major issue when it comes to uh, fucking. <laughs> What's it called? Oh, I can't even think of now. Oh, goddamn. Mm. So now I'm losing my place. Fisher Dwarves. The game seems obsessed with giving me Fisher Dwarves all of a sudden. I don't know why, but I think I like this. The Eviscerated Hills, um, it's just a wilderness surrounding temperate. There's uh, sparse trees around here, which isn't a big deal. Um, pretty much guarantees we can get all the trees. Uh, let's see. I think we might end up embarking here. Let's see what we're surrounded with. Dwarves, Kinsari, Void Dwellers, Circle Folk, Fallen, Merfolk, Goblins, Dalesmen, Darum, Sylvans, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I, I do think I like this. Can't wait to fight these fucking Serpent Folk and Merfolk. We have uh, two civilizations to choose from. The Gold Chasms, which is on the far, to the far east of us. And then the Rope of Telling, which is even further south and east. We're actually down there, mostly surrounded by tundra and the like. I think we'll just go with the Gold Chasms. And we'll set our fortress here. I'm going to prepare for the journey. And, uh... Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Let's go ahead and name our dwarves. Uh, 
Let's see, I already picked out names for these uh, first starter dwarfs. Um, if you would like a dwarf uh, with a name, a name named dwarf with your name, <laughs> just leave a comment below. Though, be advised, I will not consider... Um, I will not consider dwarfs with jobs. So, think about before typing your name out because if you give me a job request, it probably isn't going to be happening at all. And I'm not even naming everybody. Well, I'm not properly naming them. sure I get both those names finished Let's see good old El Zappo and then house Deck Connect, probably the possessor of one of the most ferocious fucking dwarves I've ever seen in my life. And good old Kramer. So those will be our starting dwarves. Let's go ahead and look at uh, descriptions. Let's see, Dion is 243 years old, born on the 28th of Obsidian year 358. He is indefatigable, very rarely sick and quick to heal, but is clumsy and very uh, weak. He's a jade dwarf on top of that. Let's see, Ciaru. Let's see, 103 years old, born on 26th of Slate in year 498. Very agile, but very weak. And you're a steel dwarf. You got lucky and got a steel dwarf. <laughs> ah. That's actually quite a surprise. I didn't really expect to get a steel dwarf. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let's see who got the plump got. Is 40 years old, born on the 5th, sitting near 561. He's incredibly quick to heal. He is a dark clan. Dwarves are touched by the corruption. They don't grow beards, and they have four tentacles on their face instead. They're often shunned by other castes, but they tend to find a way with beasts and animals, thus becoming good animal trainers and trappers. Not that that'll matter too much when we're starting now. Let's see El Sapu. 42 years old, born on the 8th of Malachite, near 559. You're slow to tire. You are weak. You're a stone dwarf. Maybe a proficient miner, of course. House. You're 41 years old, born on the 19th of, Sim uh, of Timber. You're 560. You're strong, but flimsy and clumsy. You're a stone dwarf. Zach connects. You're 40 years old, born on 16th of Galena in the year 561. So you're a deep dwarf. You're as sturdy as stone dwarves and prefer to live deep underground. So you lack stone crafting, but you're a great miner and furnace operator. And Kramer, who's an obsidian clan dwarf. Let's see. You are 246 years old, born on 24th of Granite, year 355, and you're incredibly tough, quite quick to heal, and strong. Hmm. So, Kramer and uh, Ciara are actually great, have great potential for um, the militia. Let's see, I think. Deck connect and plump. Well, plump is a dark dwarf. Really won't matter. We have you do, but I think a deck connect, um, dick neck. <laughs> You're guaranteed getting a uh, minor dwarf, and I think house will as well. Um. See El Zappo. There's Stone Dwarf. We'll actually give you Masonry and um, Stone Crafting.
Now, Plump Helmet, since you're going to be working in the farms... Well, since you're good with working with animals, we're probably going to have you do farm work. Considering you'll most likely be handling animals later, because of which... You know, so we'll uh, give you growing... And butching. You love animals, and you're and now you're going to love butching them. I hope so, at least. Now, the cast aren't going to matter a whole lot, because we need all of our starter stuff. Um, Siaru. We need Dion. I know you are a, uh, <laughs> a jade dwarf, but you're going to have to bite the bullet. You're going to have to get your hands dirty. We're going to make you our woodcutter and our carpenter. So let's see, that gives us two miners, a mason, stone crafter, a grower, a butcher. Um, what's funny is, Siaru is very agile, but you're weak. Siaru, who isn't even a stone dwarf, nor, much less a goddamn steel dwarf, you've got great physical traits. <sighs> kind of a shame too I might actually um actually Kramer I might actually go ahead and start you off in the uh, Yeah, we'll go ahead and start you off with furnace operating. Furnace operating, furnace operating, and weapon smithing. Um, and then Siaru, we will give you. We'll give you brewing. Maybe, perhaps. See, because I'm thinking, because now I'm dancing around the idea of even if I should have a a, a, a hunter. Which I was gonna make Siaru, and then I thought about making it Kramer. And then I'm thinking, well, why do I need either really? Let's take uh butching off a of plum. And give him herbalist. Siaru, you do have brewing. Yeah, I'm, I think I might actually just not even worry about um, having a hunter. Well, granted, where we are going to be placed at, we could run into a little bit of trouble. A lot of animals aren't really much to fuck with. So, what I think we might actually do is, since Kramer isn't going to be working on uh, furnacing, not immediately anyways... We'll turn uh, Brewing on Kramer. Siaru, however, we will give... Um, we'll mostly put a lot of his points into uh, Crossbowman because that's what he's going to be using to hunt shit with. That and... Oh, I don't know. I know archery isn't really important. As important as the... The weapon itself, such as crossbowmen and, and bowmen. And it's going to be a bit. We'll have to uh, slaughter some animals to be able to, to get you a quiver. We'll give you dodging as well. Those will probably help more than anything. Now off to the items. We won't need two battle axes. We'll just need the one. We'll take the two picks. Anvil. I still got plenty of points to spend because I maxed out the points because we're going balls to the wall. No reserves, really. Um, we pretty much have everything over here that we want, except let's get um, The 
Now let's get a steel crossbow. Why don't we, hey? Steel crossbow, and we'll bring some ammunition as well. Not anything too terribly expensive. Because we'll probably want quite a bit of it. Nickel bolts, perhaps? Some nickel bolts. A shitload of nickel bolts. Around 100 sounds okay. Um, animal wise. We want a couple of pretty much everything. Hell, if we can even afford it all. Which I wouldn't see why we wouldn't be able to. hell am I doing? I don't need the war animals. just want regular mastiffs. More aurochs. I'm pretty sure we'll start off with uh, plenty of aurochs anyways. And a couple centurions. see uh I think yeah we can bring us some uh charcoal too if we should so desire or some coke let's bring some coke yeah we'll bring 30 blocks of coke I mean, we have the points after all let's see uh gauges blah 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 I could always get a little bit even more ridiculous and uh, <laughs> bring a bunch of um, items to start a, uh, a danger room. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we could bring the items we need to start the training room, I suppose. Or. I keep saying training room. The danger room. The danger room, brah. The danger room. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll need uh, 80, tra 80 training spheres for that. Now, this will be the first time I've started a forward on my channel. And I've had plenty. <laughs> where I make a danger room. And they get a little bit goddamn ridiculous. Especially once the more dwarfs you get. Want more plump helmets. Plump helmet spores, anyways. And more silkweed. More cave weed and more hops. Still got nearly a thousand points left over. Let's put that in to utility spiders, because apparently they're even more sexy now. And we're going to see just how sexy they can be. Some more mastiffs, because I want them fucking breeding like crazy. And we still got plenty of points left, because it's a little over goddamn ridiculous. And we'll just take some more coke with us. Let's see. Okay. Time to name the fortress. Ah. Good blowing torchwood. Usually if you sit here and randomize names long enough, you can get something good. Bust light. That's kind of cool. Shot holes. Sprayed shields. That's nifty. Tooth wire, oracle rags, oily throne. Trumpet locks. Mind peaceful. Oyster leads. Silvery trusts. Polished chamber.
constructed ring, basic knife, rain fenced, hall cages, torch peaked, silvery circle, ink stab. Hmm. Wheel bowls? Wow. Metal strife. I kind of like metal strife. Let's go with metal strife. That sounds good. Let's name the group of our dwarves. Our small band of four of uh, dwarves. The good sack. Oh, these uh, seven brave dwarves known as the good sacks. They shall pave the way for innovation and fortressy things. Well, with all that said and done, I do think, I do declare that I think, that I declare that it is time to start. We have arrived after a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond. Our harsh trek has finally ended. Our party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all the mole. There are almost no supplies left. <sighs> yeah, right. But with stout labor comes sustenance. Whether it be by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you, but it is spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings. Air war snouts get hungry. Those are something else new that I read about war snouts. A new chapter of dwarven history begins at this place. Metal strife. Strike the earth, bitch. And now for some reason I have a sneaking suspicion that I, um... That I didn't bring bolts with me. I brought arrows and... I'm kind of getting scared because usually when I would uh, get past that embark screen, it would lag for a second until the map would load, but it would still have the text up. And now it's just giving me a black screen with, it's just a little goddamn terrifying. That's all I'm saying. I'm just, I'm just freaking out and wiggling around in my chair here a little bit. Because I don't want this all to be for nothing. And that's how usually shit goes for me, so. Come on, game. You can do it. I keep wanting to tell it to eat a bunch of meatball subs. You can do it. Not drunk enough to say that right yet. Oh, come on, game. Please don't do this to me. Metal Strife was so young. We didn't even get anywhere. Oh boy. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Holy shit, that scared me for a little bit. Awesome, we started off on a nice, a nice flat area. What are those, bees? Ants? Colony of bees! Oh shit. Monstrous spider silk web. That fucking terrifying. That's not cool at all. Let's see, do we even have any animals out here yet? Just a bunch of wild aurochs wandering around. Well then. Check out the mini map. This I'm gonna do things a little bit differently than what I do on normal fortress. Normally I like to build big walls and stuff outside. And to hell with that. We're going to we're going to do that a little bit different as I was saying. Uh let's start that off with uh let's get some downward stairs going on. And go several levels down, then over, and start a new stairwell. Probably won't need to go that far up, or hell, even that far up. Or hell, I don't even want to limit myself to that far. Let's 
see. Yeah, that looks better. I want to make sort of like a... Um, normally when I would make uh, the uh, the surface where we would put like a lot of our trade goods and our trading depot and all that jazz, I'm going to be doing that underground this time. And I built that too far out, didn't I? Yes, I did. a lot more keen for me though we don't want these downstairs we want to build up and down stairwells oh, shit need to get rid of those okay there we go there I'm much more happy with that but we're going to need sections for our intergalactic kager here damn it Hell, this should just be an upward stairway. I want it to be quite an adventure to uh, make it outside or quite an adventure for anything to try to make it <laughs> down to us. Let's see. I'm going to want several chambers. First one being right there. Because we're going to start hauling everything down here immediately. So we don't want to stick around too long. Uh, so let's go ahead and start cutting down all the goddamn trees. Just got to be careful on wild animals that might show up. Um, also, we'll start having plump, uh, start gathering random. Uh, plants and stuff. It's going to be a little while before we can uh, start doing everything that we want. <laughs> 